Well, we continue this half hour with a test of wills between Congress and the White House. Next week, House Democrats will vote on a resolution to block President Trump's national emergency declaration to build a border wall. This comes as at least 16 states are already challenging his declaration as unconstitutional. Some of the strongest legal pushback is coming from a group of landowners in South Texas wow. who were among the first to file a lawsuit against the president. Morea Villarreal spoke to some of them along the U.S.-Mexico border. Did you get up there and, and paint this yourself? I sure did. How long did it take you? About 40 minutes. Took mm -hmm. off my shoes and I said, here we go. Nida Alvarez is sending a clear message. Her family has owned this property along the banks of the Rio Grande River in South Texas for more than 30 years. It's now at risk of being taken away by the government for a new border wall. So she's suing the Trump administration to keep it. This property is my life. It is my home. This is where my family gets together. This is my family. It is my heritage. You know, what am I going to do if I don't have a home? And we will have a national emergency, and we will then be sued. The only statement released by the Department of Defense so far says the National Emergency Declaration authorizes the Secretary of Defense to determine whether border barriers are necessary. I hope it's a wake-up call for all Americans that this administration that purports to be all about law and order is, in fact, lawless. Mariana Trevino Wright is the executive director of the National Butterfly Center, a facility that could lose about 70 acres of land. A lawsuit they filed back in 2017 to stop the wall was recently dismissed. Is there a fear that, that this might be what's in store for other landowners? I think it's a very real possibility. Alvarez's mother, who lives right next door, is in hospice care for cancer. So for this family, there's no other choice but to fight. Does it feel like a David and Goliath situation? Yes, it does. It does, because I'm just an average citizen that does not have the power, the authority that Mr. Trump has. It is very hard. I am fighting two battles, one that I know for a fact I am going to lose, and that is the one with my mother. The other one, there is hope. There is hope for tomorrow. If we go with the laws of the United States, we have a chance. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Mireya Villarreal in South Texas. Wow. Those personal stories inside mm -hmm. this larger issue that sometimes get forgotten. But right. that one story for her, so yeah. important. Yeah, and it's very scary when you come up against the U.S. government. Yes, right. it is. So it's, it's Eminent a domain. A formidable foe.